Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. And uh-huh. they came and drew water. And they filled the troughs to water their father's flock. Uh-huh. Then the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses but- stood up and helped them and watered their flock. Uh-huh. When they came to Reuel, mm. their father, mm. he said, mm. How is it that you have come so soon today? The Bible says in this part we just read, there are seven daughters who are coming every time to fetch water from the well. The well! is the church where we are coming to drink the water that is going to give us life but at the well there are people called shepherds in other words they are pastors they are pastors who are standing by the well every time we are coming to get water and the bible says it happened that when moses was also there the pastors came to drive them away to say no you are not going to take this water why why am i not allowed to draw water from this well and the bible says moses intervened he came and he drove the pastors away and he says shepherds move let the seven daughters draw water and go this is the part that i love the most the bible says when they got home their father asked them a question why are you back home so early meaning to say it was a pattern of coming back home late why because of pastors our generation and our church no longer needs deliverance from the devil we don't need deliverance from the spirits today i want to deliver you from the spirit called pastors the shepherds are standing on the well other than me drawing water they are saying move why which shepherd is standing on my way because the father said why are you back home so early everyone was used to it in such a way that at first the father would ask why is it that you have not yet received the miracle as you were promised Uh, why is it that you have not yet received the breakthrough since 2019 was your year of abundance where is your abundance up until the father kept quiet and said you know what Uh, this is now the pattern let me relax and then one day the bible says they came home early and the father said this is unusual why are you back home early and the bible says the daughters looked at the father and they said we met a certain egyptian man and he delivered us from the hands of the shepherds meaning to say you don't need deliverance from the devil you need deliverance from the spirit called pastors there are some shepherds who have personalized this gospel there are some shepherds who have modified the gospel in such a way that you are not supposed to come and draw water by yourself they want to draw the water for you they tell you that you don't have to pray i'm the one who will pray for you they tell you you don't have to fast but i'm the one who will fast for you i have come as a moses in my generation and in my time any shepherd standing on your way you need deliverance from the shepherds we are tired of delivering you from the spirits of your father the ancestral spirits of your village the ancestral spirits from your uncle's house today i want to deliver somebody and you need deliverance from the shepherds that is why they have divided the body of christ the other one belongs to apollos and the other one belongs to paul the other one belongs to peter the one who belongs to apollos says i don't believe in peter but which god are we serving are we not serving the same god we are serving the same god so what happened to the body of christ you can hate me you can love me but the truth is very stubborn you can run away from it but it will come back and haunt you how many times have you been subjected under the authority of a man of god and he says no 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 it is not yet time for you to get married when it is your time i will tell you what if your word of marriage has been given to apollos yet you belong to paul what if your word that is supposed to take you to the next level has been given to peter and it has not been given to your pastor you are staying in bondage because the shepherds have scattered the well they have contaminated the gospel they have personalized it it is no longer the gospel but it is now a business if i lose members i'm losing money if i'm losing members i'm losing business this nonsense must stop shepherds let us liberate our people they are no longer worshiping god the way they want because they are afraid of you they are afraid that if i'm seen by prophet jay's church my father will not agree my father for what 
if they see me at a Baobab church, my pastor will shout at me, hey, you are a shepherd. If you love me, feed my flock. Your flock is not being fed well. That is why they are going to look for food out there. If you feed them well as the shepherd, they will never leave wherever you give them food. They leave because they are looking for something that you are not giving them. Let there be liberty in the body of Christ. Let us worship God. Let us go back to Christ and nothing else. I need to give you liberty. Worship God. Only in a cult you are not allowed to visit. If they ask you who said it, tell them J. Israel said it. 2011 was your year of breakthrough. It never came. 2012 was your year of sign and wonder. You never saw it. Only the pastor is getting the breakthrough. Why? Because he is the one controlling everything. The sheep, the flock is suffering. But the pastor is getting richer and richer. Nothing is happening in the church. Everyone is still broke in the church. Everyone is still not driving in the church. But the pastor is driving good. You are a shepherd. Let God's people go. We are tired of delivering you from the spirits of your father, the ancestral spirits of your village, the ancestral spirits from your uncle's house. 